guys, it's Jade. So I'm here with another video. And like I said, on Monday, I had two packages coming in. One from Zen Market and another package from the UK. And it was actually a package from Katie Boo 1979. Um, if you do not watch her channel, you really need to. She has an awesome channel. She has like a humongous collection. Like... I know she, you know, I know she's a huge VIP, which is a YG stan, and I know she loves BTS and EXO and a whole bunch of other groups. So, um, I will leave a link to her Instagram so you can follow her and her channel so you can subscribe to her awesome channel. So please go su support her. So yeah, um, what she sent me was actually something really special and I'm really happy that she sent me these things so she left me a little like little note thingy which is really cool it's like penguin says swag on it okay so it says hi jade i'm really happy to send these to you and hope they arrive safely one of these c clown albums has a small amount of damage but i guess it's well loved thanks for helping to take these off my hands and yeah subscribing so yeah thank you so much so yeah what she sent me was honestly something that i didn't even think it was even going to happen honestly so what i have here is i have all four c cloud albums so if you've been watching my channel you should know that um i've been a fan of c clown since 2014 um, I got into C Clown when I was watching K Spazzing and they did a reaction to B2B's Beep Beep. And so that was my introduction to B2B. And then I remember seeing it like the recommended was C Clown. And I was like, okay, let me just check it out. And then now the song for Justice. So after watching the song for Justice, I was like, okay, the song's really good. And then just going back and listening to the music. And then I was like, okay, all right, I really like this group. And then, you know, watching there um they have a channel they had like a like a show on their youtube channel it was crown the clown just like some vlogging type channel and i really enjoyed it but yeah like i said they unfortunately disbanded i think 2015 if i'm not mistaken either yes either early 2015 or 2016 i can't exactly remember when they had disbanded but it hasn't been that long um but um most people would know christian well, he went by Rome, but he goes by Christian now, so, like, DPR, so, like, um, so he does mostly, like, you know, like, music and, you know, directing, so if you follow, if you, you probably know who I'm talking about, if you follow on Instagram, um, so, yeah, that's mainly what he does now, so, like, he directed, we have direct, um, Bobby's Hole Up and Minnow's Body Envies, um, and he did, he, like, he's, like, he's just been doing a lot of, like, um, a lot of like videos and stuff like that and like you know his crew dpr and stuff like that so uh, especially with um live he had just came out with an album if i'm not mistaken i know he had released like a bunch of videos like some songs with like i think i forgot the name of the song but it's with uh local and jay park and just a whole bunch of other stuff so yeah so that's what he's been doing i think the other members have been doing like you know just living life and doing their own things so yeah so she gets so i have all four albums so first is um is their first uh mini album is not alone and this is for their debut was solo the song solo so yeah and then next was um young or far away young love and this i remember the video had like a bunch of different versions for it so they had like member versions um they had a dance version and they had um like a drama ish type version like um i'll leave a link to that video to see you know so you can know what i'm talking about down below and then next 2013 if i'm not mistaken 2013 and, yo, oh, oh, and um if i'm mistaken um Jun young from beast had i think he wrote the title track I think I know he has something to do with this album. I remember that when I I remember when I got into Beast and I remember hearing about that. Um, so yeah, I think 2013 
was when it came out with Shaking Heart. This is the third mini album. And oh, awesome. My dog food is here. I've been just getting packages for the past couple days, so that's what's actually at my door right now. So, okay. Awesome. My dog's dog food is here. Um, yeah. And then, um, like I said before, 2014, they came out with Justice with the digital single. And then, like, that summer, they came out with their last album, which was their fourth mini album, Let's Love. Um, and yeah, and after that, hadn't heard anything from them for a while. And then, I said after that, they unfortunately disbanded. But yeah, I really love their music. And I'm just really, really, really happy that she gave me these albums. I didn't forget you, girl. I got you next week. It's just this, you know, getting ready for this BTS concert has been a bitch. But I got you. I got you. Um. So yeah. So yeah, I said, honestly, like, I figured out of all the people that I collect for, this would be the toughest because of the fact that C Clown came from a small company and um you know usually when you get album you know when you support a group from a small company it depends on how well they do you don't know you know is it gonna work out you know are you gonna be able to you know buy albums and stuff from them so like you know I like people from small groups so like um let's see let's see let's see like a mad town you know, um, Double JC when they had came out. So, like, stuff like that when groups are, like, really in, like, really small companies and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's really hard to try and, you know, support these groups. And especially, like, and then it's, like, when they disband, it's even tougher to buy their albums. So, like I said, just trying to get these albums has been a bitch these past couple years when I got into them. And, you know, of course, there's Amazon, but, of course, Amazon... They was like stupid expensive. eBay, I think the only one you can really find is this one. I think there's like the Taiwanese version of this one. And Shaking Heart. But they're like really fucking expensive. And I was like, oh my god. And it was funny because I actually saw this Shaking Heart on Zen Market. I was gonna buy it. But then that's when she hit me up. And I was like, alright, you know, no problem. So I got them from her. And so, she also got me three more albums. And it's from the group MIB. So, just like the same thing with <clears throat> with uh, C Clown. They're from a small company. They were actually signed under uh, Tiger JK and um, Tasha. I still call her Tasha. I know people call her Yumi right now, but I still call her Tasha. But um, their company at the time, before they left and did their own thing, um, they were signed onto them, and the thing with MIB was like they they had the appeal, like the visual appeal, to be mainstream, but their music was just straight hip hop. And the thing about that is like, you know, people like a Mad Clown and like Dynamic Duo, you know, those groups that are like straight hip hop, but they they also appeal to mainstream audiences to where you know. They can do music shows and stuff like that where other artists that's like, you know, straight, straight hip hop, they won't be on music shows, they won't be on variety shows, like nothing like that. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, MIB could have fit in that, you know, category, but for some reason, just they just never popped off. Um, but I really enjoyed their music. So, um, I have three out of four albums that they released. So, I have Illusion. And if I'm not mistaken, this is their second mini album or third. This might be the third. Is it third? Yeah, you know, I think this might be the third mini album. Um, and then next I have Most Incredible Busters. I mean, they originally was called Most Incredible Bastards, but they had to change the bastard part for obvious reasons. But this is their first mini album. Is it first mini album? I don't know, because it's got 11 songs, so I'm like, hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> I don't know, this might be a full thing, because it has 11, it has 11 songs, so I don't know. Because that's who I thought. Oh, maybe. Because, you know, this whole mini album, not mini album thing kind of confused me, so I think this might be a mini album, or it could be a full album. Anyway, but this is the first album that they released with their debut, um... 
Oh, Jesus, what the name of the damn song? Girls, Drinks, and Money, I think. Something like that. I haven't heard the song in a while. But yeah, this is the first release. And this is the last release. Um, the Magnet Line, if I pronounced that right. So this is the, um, the album that had a bounce on it and one of my favorite songs, Dirty Sexy Money, so... So yeah, so oh yeah, so they were under Jungle Entertainment. So that's what the company they was under. Um, but yeah, like I said, after they released this album like 2014, they um hadn't released anything after that. Um, oh Zeke, that's um the leader. Well, he changed the name to Zeke Jasper now, but he released a mixtape. I know like Only Mania did an unboxing of it. Um, so he did a mixtape and. Um, Sims, he was, like, I know he's still doing, like, the, um, the Royal class, so it's, like, Kitty B, Taewoon, well, you know, Zico, Zico's brother, um, and a couple other people, so, like, that kind of crew, and Kangnam, who, like, really blew up doing variety shows, and, you know, he was on, you know, um, I'm pretty bad star of the song. Um, my type, you know, with Cheetah and Jesse and stuff like that. So I know he's still doing variety shows. And I know, like, MIB had it rough. I mean, because, like, for a while, they was, like, dumb broke. And I think when they came out, before they released Illusion, an accident happened in their dorm. And one of their, like, Cordy Nunas had actually died in the accident. So, um, this was before they released this. So I forgot the name of the song song can't remember the name of the song but so yeah this was before this and yeah like I said just unfortunately they just never really like blew up but I really love you know what I'm saying I'm a hip hop head so that type of music just you know st stuck with me and stuff like that so so yeah let me zoom in but yeah so I said I'm really happy that she gave me these albums. The only one I don't have is their second mini album. I think it's the second one. Other than that, um, this I don't have to. You know, I'm happy to say that I have completed my Seacon collection. Like I said, I've been wanting to get these albums since getting into them. But like I said before, it's just really hard trying to collect for people. From smaller companies and stuff like that especially when they disband so i'm very very happy because i just honestly i did not think i was going to be able to get any let alone all of their mini albums so i'm very happy for that and i'm also happy that i got majority of it might be albums like i said it might be it's easier to find than c clown because i can get these at least the mini albums on amazon so i can go and Excuse me, I can go on Amazon right now and see if I can find the second mini album and that's it. So so that's one collection that I'm finished and one thing I can knock off my, you know, uh my resolutions list that I set up earlier this year. So yeah. Katie Boo, thank you so 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 much for this i greatly appreciate it because you did not have to give these to me you could have just sold them and you know kept the coins for you but i'm really grateful that you you know you sent these to me i'm super appreciative and you know i love your channel and you know i you know i'll kind of i'll slide through in the comments every now and then but i do watch your videos though kind of like a you know but so thank you so much i really appreciate this I really, really do, because, like I said, these albums were just, <laughs> it was going to be so hard to get, but yeah, so thank you so much, um, you know, I'll leave a message on Instagram telling you I got them, but yeah, thank you so much, and, um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to do unboxings for all these albums, because I don't think there's really unboxings for these, there might be some for Let's Love, but the other ones... I doubt it. Um, maybe Tina probably did. She most likely, if Tina didn't do an unboxing, which she probably did, then I'll do an unboxing. But yeah, most likely we'll do unboxings for all these albums. So just sometimes just look, you know, you'll just see me do a random unboxing for these albums and stuff like that. So 
again, I don't know if I can say thank you like enough, but thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. And I really like this card. It's really cute. I really like it. So thank you. So yeah. So like I said, that was just, um, my video. Um, like I said, um, I was hoping that I could have done this on Monday, but it was still stuck in New York. And then yesterday it was still stuck, you know, in Kearney, which is like, 40 minutes from my like 40 minutes from me but it was still stuck at you know over there and it came like earlier and stuff like that so like I said I've just been getting packages for the past few days and like I said my dog's dog food just came I'm like thank the lord so yeah I'm really excited um so yeah like I said before BTS concert is tomorrow I'm really excited um and just look out for my fan account. I'll probably, I probably won't do it. I usually do them when I get home from the show, but I'll probably be like really fucking tired. And it's going to be late by the time I get home. So I'll probably do them Friday. If not Friday, then definitely Saturday. Definitely. Friday tops. I'm sorry, Saturday tops. That I'll do my fan account of the concerts. Like I said, I'm only going to day one. Um, so yeah. So I'm excited for that. So just look out for that. Look out for that video. And look out for these unboxings in the future. And yeah, I'm going to get out of here. And I will talk to you guys later.